Okay, another fun lesson. Here we are going to uh, create some sheets. Um, if you look at annotation under our families here, uh, you can see that under families annotation, there's the uh, title block that's loaded with the this template file. There's only one in here. We'll see that in a second. We right click on here and say new sheet. There it is right there. We're going to say load. I'm going to get a bigger one because I don't think this is going to fit on a regular um, that sheet size. So at 1 to 100. So let's go into here. Under, I'm going to go U.S. Imperial. I'm going to go back to 2017 Libraries, U.S. Metric. And then down here, there's a some title blocks, some blank generic title blocks. One called an A0 title block. We'll hit open and we've loaded that in. It's going to show up on here. And then we're going to say OK. So we basically said new sheet. And then we picked this one and we did a load. So there's our big sheet. And there it is there. We can rename it afterwards. So let's drag on our main floor. Let's go drag and place it. Oh, perfect fit. Okay. So once we placed it, I can pick on here right on the view and then grab this. Okay. Hit escape twice, then click and hold and drag. Okay. Now I can take this and use my arrow key and, you know, nudge it around. Okay. From here, I might want to go in and edit this. So I say, okay, well, this is nice, but I want to have my own logo. We say edit family. Once we're inside of there, we can zoom in and say, oh, thank you, Autodesk, but I'm going to put my own logo in here and you just maybe click on there. From there, we go into view and, sorry, insert, and we say image and you click on there, load your image, place it in there, stretch it into place, and then you can go in and change this URL here to be, you know, whatever you want. You can even add URL hot links to parts of the um, title box. And then insert your logo over here. And let's do that. Insert image. And let's grab my CAD clips image. Boop. Place it on there. Stretch it around as you please. Okay. Take this guy. Move it over. And then what we do is we would save this and say file. Save as. Family and pick our folder and I usually just you know put my initials in front of it to start with so we've given it a different name made a couple of changes then we can load it back into our project and it says oh we can't create one from this view that's fine hit escape escape um, now we're going to double click open up this view okay now we're going to pick on this like any other family and say you are not an a0 you are a dg a0 there you go Okay, so now what we want to do is create some sheets, more sheets, and start to populate it with our views. And then we want to go back to our views and clean it up because we don't want to see the necessarily see the elevation bubbles on here. So we either have to crop them out or turn off the category. So let's go double click on here and let's turn the crop region on from within my um, sheet view isn't that neat so right now I'm inside that floor plan view and I'm cropping its region click out now I'm going to turn the crop region off in the view and I'm going to double click out and I'm outside the view and now that's the view if I wanted to I could just go into here and double click on the floor plan and open the view there turn the crop region on and adjust it from here if I wanted as well turn it back off so let's make some more sheets. Well, this is going to be, you know, renamed to be, you know, A101 or 102 and main floor. And that's going to populate my title block over here. So now we can see, OK, new sheet. There's my title block. Hit OK. Right click. New sheet. Title block. Good. Hit OK. Right click, new sheet, make a bunch of sheets. Okay, we can rename them after that. We can go on to here and say, okay, well, this is going to be my second floor. Okay, then pick on here, pick.
pick on the view, drag this guy over, escape, escape on the keyboard, click, drag, escape. Double click to open up the viewport, turn on the crop region, click on the crop region, crop, crop. Okay, get those little elevation bubbles out of there. Okay, now you have to make sure your cropping is turned on. Turn the outside off, double click outside, we're back out. There's our floor plan, and as we add our dimensions and everything to the view, of course, it's going to show up in here. Okay, um, let's take this guy and rename this to be a 101. Call this foundation plan. It's going to resort itself. Double click to open it up, grab my top of footing, drag it in. I'm not going to do every one of these, I'll let you do them. Okay, pick on here, drag this guy over, escape, escape, click on here, escape. Now, double click to go inside of here, turn your crop region, recrop it, okay? Um, let's go to here, and maybe we're going to throw an elevation. Let's see what a south elevation is going to look like on there. Not too bad, north elevation, uh, east elevation. Oh, am I going to get a guess? Going to get all four of them on there. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Notice how they line up. Oh, my goodness. Look at that perfect fit. And I can adjust those a little bit. Okay, I'm using my arrow keys to nudge them along. Click out. Okay, now again, I want to pick on here. Drag this guy down. Pick on here. Drag this guy down. Now, escape, escape, press, drag, move, press, drag, move, press, drag, move, press, drag, move. Okay, again, we can adjust this to your heart's content. When they line up this way, you can grab two of them at the same time. So uh, that is uh, the beginning part, anyway, of getting some sheets. We still have to do some renaming and stuff inside of here. I'll let you go in there. You can right-click, rename that stuff. And in the meantime, nothing's really going on back here. There's our 3D model. The only difference is our floor plans, our foundation, our main floor, our second floor. We'll do a site plan. Roof plan are now on our sheets, and these would plot at one-to-one -one on an A0 a metric sheet. Standard save as. Twenty one. 